Hello everyone, welcome to T4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use platelet module to enable market cluster in your Drupal instance. So I already posted video about how to install and how to create an interactive map and also how to create a chloroplate map. So all those videos I will add it in the description. If you have a doubt, you can go and check it. So now we are going to see about how to enable marker cluster by using this module. Okay. So once you enable the module in your Drupal instance, so this module will have a, a sub module called marker cluster. You have to enable the module to make sure it is working. So that is marker cluster. This is the module. Leaflet marker cluster. You have to enable this. Once this module is enabled, as I already mentioned, you have to create a field. So all those fields I already created. So you can see geofield is created. So to, if you don't know what all this, you can go and check the previous video. And then uh, in manage display, what you have to do, uh, you have to enable a marker cluster for the field which you created for the geofield. So here you can see this is the marker cluster. So you have to enable this. Once you enable the settings, you have to enable this enable marker cluster for path elements. Just enable and then update. And then save it. So once your uh, managed display is configured, I'm going to add a content for my landmark. Click on landmark. Marker cluster cluster. So if you have a JSON, you can give the JSON here. If you don't have a JSON, you can just add the points here. So just click on this and then add your marker. So I'm making it in single place so that we can see marker cluster how it is working. So now it is done. And so once you've created all the coordinates will be added in a JSON here. And then scroll down and save it. So when you view your content, so you can see uh, the marker cluster is enabled. Are we able to see it? So when you uh, view it, it will come like this. So marker cluster will be used when you have a, a lot of marker in a single page. So it will be very difficult for you to see what, what are the location it is containing. So when you use marker cluster, it will group all the location and uh, keep it like this. Okay, and that's it for today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.